Brian right here, congratulations on the victory. Uh, the two questions, one, can you just talk about what the emotions were like with your first World Series uh, appearance and obviously a very nice outcome? And then secondly- Yeah, no, it's good. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, once it, I was, <laughs> I wonder before we got here what I'd feel like when the, when the game started, I, I felt like it was a baseball game. And, and you kind of get so tunneled in to what you're doing that you forget where you're at. It's just an, it's another baseball game, really loud baseball game. Um, but, you know, and then there's so much happened really quick that I didn't have a chance to do anything other than that. But it was not, I'm, I'm glad, you know, obviously we won the game. And, and I wanted to ask you also, talk about what it means to get a 5 nothing lead so quickly in a game like this. No, it's good. But, you know, against this club here, it's, <laughs> you know, they got, I'd rather get a 5 nothing lead after the seventh inning than when we did because they have so much time to come back. And it's such a dangerous team. And you don't, that 5 nothing feels like one to nothing, quite honestly, to me, just because of the club they are. And they've been through these wars, and they're so dangerous, and they're they're so relentless, um, which makes it even more special and, and to me and, and, and what our bullpen did. I'll go right behind with Dave. <clears throat> Snid, what can you say about Charlie, what this means to the team, and the fact that he was able to go out there and get three more outs after breaking a leg? Well, no, it's – it's um, you know, it, it, it's it's – I don't think he got three outs, did he? He did? Oh, oh, I, I, yeah, I was thinking the next inning. Sorry. Um, but, no, he was in there, and they did the x-rays, and he said, you know, just – and we told Freddie, we told Austin that, um, uh, you know, you guys are going to have to make sure you're more aggressive or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, he wanted to keep going. You know, because he was down in the tunnel and he was thrown against the wall and it said, you know, it's just kind of hurts more when I run. I feel good when I throw. And then, you know, obviously it, it didn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just the fact that he wanted to keep going. I mean, he was they were x-raying him and that's Charlie. I mean, he, he wants to be on this stage and God bless him. It's, it's I hate it for him. Um, Really hate it for him. I mean, it's a, it's, he's such a great person, great person and teammate. And um, I just, I, I do, I really hate it for him because I know he was really looking forward to this run with us. And um, so it's, we'll move on. A bit of Mark on the left. Isn't it with uh, Solaire and Duvall Homer in tonight? Is that just a reminder of just how valuable those? Final hours and Alex's diligence, you know, leading up to that trade deadline were. Yeah, I mean that the, you know, the play made or Eddie made off the wall um, on Guriel's ball. Um, yeah, all those guys, Jock, they all are. They they complete our team. Those guys, um, and and they've been big for us since they got here, and they're continuing to be every day. Uh, Gabriel on the left. Snit, A.J. Mentor was so big for you guys against the Dodgers. I mean, how important was that, what he was able to do? That, that was huge what A.J. pulled down. I mean, he did it for us last year in the NLCS. Um, but that tonight was um, really, really good. I mean, he was good. He was well-rested. Um, <clears throat> and he, he pulled down some really, really big innings for us to kind of, you know, it went to him earlier than we normally would. But like I said earlier today, you do things differently here. In, in this arena, I think, and um, AJ's just—he's he, been so good this post. All the bull, oh, just not him. All the bullpen, but that—that that was huge tonight. What he did, how he stretched the game to get us to those other guys. Stay there with Steve. Yeah, Brian. Now you've kind of become used to answering questions about uh, untimely injuries this season and how the team responds. Uh, how do you see see you guys responding to this one uh, going forward? And where? How do you fill in? with uh, Charlie's loss. Well, well, you know, they're talking about that right now as we speak. And, um, it, you know, it's just like the other day when Solera came in and was scratched from the lineup, you know, two hours before the game. And I just told Alex, it's like, don't worry, these guys are going to keep going. They're going to keep fighting. They're going to keep battling. We've been through this many times this year, losing key components to our club. I mean, really key components. And um, we're going to continue to – it's not going to be an excuse or anything else. We're going to go out and continue to try and win games. 
uh, go Dave and then Ron. Ron, uh, two things. Uh, when exactly did he get that x-ray? I'm sorry? When exactly did he get the x-ray? Um, they, hey, they do it during the game. But, I mean, it was it – was There's nothing to show. They, no, that, that x-ray that when he went back out didn't show anything. And then he got another one? Well, he got one after he came out of the game got, and felt hurt. But, um, you know, they looked at him um, prior to him going out to start the next inning, and everything was good. And, and can you give it any indication of what you might do to replace him? No, I can't. Go to Ron here in the first row. <clears throat> Could you think many of the pitchers you know go out and throw 16 pitches on a broken leg and get three? Well, I don't know that it, I, I don't, I'm not a doctor or all that, but I don't know that it was broken when he did that. I mean, it was stressed, but he felt okay. And, and I think a lot of athletes have, have done that. I saw a kid foul a ball off his foot one time when we were playing the Mets. And it took a while, but he went back in the box, hit a homer, and his leg or foot – fractured round in the bases. So I, I don't know that that's all that uncommon in these kind of injuries with baseball, football, whatever players. So it could have been when he went out for the third? The, yeah, the no, I mean, it just might have been something that, that he did then that was going to happen anyway at some point in time, yeah. All right, we'll take the last <clears> question. <throat> oh, we're good. Um, I think Michael Brantley's here. Brian, thanks so much.